Excelsi Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize. Hi guys, Phil Green here, just here in my kitchen in sunny London and it's been a lovely day and it's been even funnier reading the papers. There's uh, Mike Tyndall, the new Raw member of the family and the boys are on the booze after, uh, after their game against Argentina. They're in some bar in, in Queenstown, wrestling dwarves. There's pictures of Steve Thompson and Dan Cole scrummaging down with these dwarves. There's Ashton being caught being beaten up by these dwarves in, in headlocks and uh, it's been comedy value but there's been no comedy uh, you know with especially after that performance uh, against Argentina you know what are the boys doing going out and celebrating after a performance like that this is the World Cup this is the world stage you know you're going to be pictured on cameras even if you're going to go out for a couple of beers obviously I think it's probably been blown out of all proportion but these photos are funny and I just wish I'm on that plane a lot sooner so I can have a few beers with the lads um, but you know all joking apart that performance against Argentina you know, the attack was abysmal I think with one di dimensional really easy to read there's no creativity there's no spark very laboured and uh, you know I'm hoping we can turn things around I'm hoping this weekend you know, with uh, the game against Georgia and hopefully, you know, the changes that John is going to bring in because um, this big game now is coming out is going to be Scotland, you know, we all know that. So we've got to hit the ground running and he's got to know he's starting 15. I think he'll bring in Flood. I think Toby will uh, add a bit more an attacking flair and, and probably play off the cuff a little bit more. Um, you know, John is going to be hurting. You know, those kicks is not like him again. You know, what, what he missed against Argentina. He would have been suicidal last night, um, you know, that night after the game and uh, he, he'd been training non-stop I think you know he'll be back and we need him back but we need England far in a, in a proper way in a proper way to attack and I think we've got to be more creative than we have been I think that will come um, now you know every, everyone's talking here should the boys have been allowed on the booze and I, I probably think that John has got the he's trying to get the right balance he's trying to give her accountability but look you know this is six weeks of your life to be the best in the world and uh, there's plenty of celebrating to do after that if uh, if you win it and when you get knocked out have your party then I think you know there's a time and a place will we see the Kiwis doing that will we see the Auss Aussies definitely not you know they're here for business I think we have to be the same and uh, let's get got out of our system it's been a bad week you've had laws cited and banned and then you got Tyndall taking the boys out on the booze. I think, he, you know, the Royal Family have been having a word with him, no doubt. Um, you know, he's now in a different circle, in a different uh, arena, so he's got to act a lot more appropriate than that. Saying that, though, it's been a fantastic World Cup. I think it's been amazing. I come so excited to get back down to New Zealand and, uh, and experience uh, the atmosphere, the passion that these guys drive uh, in their rugby. I think it's going to be, you know, the most epic uh, World Cup today, especially all the pressure on the New Zealand, uh, New Zealand team. I think you know the, the games we've had as well. It shows that the second tier, so to speak, nations are uh, are really closing that gap and they're really starting to become uh, a force. And we're starting to see a broader scale of teams actually performing this World Cup. And I think you know the World Cups to come, it'll just get smaller and smaller gap between everyone. It's just going to get more and more better. Um, you know we had. Teams like uh, Tonga playing so well against the All Blacks. We had the USA pushing Ireland. You know, all this Samoa be, you know, being tipped to be uh, you know, an outsider in this World Cup. It's starting to really flourish now and the rugby's getting a global stage. And, and with today, with Russia announcing they're going to take the Rugby World Cup 7s to Moscow uh, in 2013, I think that is going to really start to explode uh, on the world circuit. So back to the World Cup, I think, though, you know, England's got Georgia. They've got to turn it around. As I said, you know, there'll be a few changes, hopefully a bit more of a spark. Um, a big game for me as well as Ireland-Australia. I think, you know, for the Irish, it's the last chance saloon for these boys, uh, the Adriscals and all. There won't be another World Cup for them. And I think they know it's, uh, it's do or die. And I think they'll, they'll really be pushing hard for this. A lot of the boys were in 2003, you know. They knew it wasn't going to be another World Cup for them. So um, they gave everything. And I'm expecting that. For Australia, they got Connor back, you know, after his misdemeanour. He's... Um, He's back and he, I thought he turned the game around for, for Australia against Italy. Really added a spark. They've got Drew Mitchell, who's a top lad. I'm so glad that he's come through that injury and they made the bench. Um, so they're starting to get their firepower back, which, which you know, is going to be frightening some teams. And um, you know, they're my tip for the final, to be fair. Now, 
will they topple New Zealand in that final? I'm not sure, but uh, you know, for me, I'd like to see that. But let's see what happens uh, along the way. I'm sure there's a lot of English fans and South Africans who, who's going to be, uh, you know, fighting that their team's going to upset everyone. They then got, um, you know, got going into the with the New Zealanders. They got Japan. I think that's just another step for the Jap, Jap, uh, against the Japanese. Uh, the Japanese have really shown some character in this World Cup, and they, they will continue to do so. But it's just another step for New Zealand, uh, and I'm sure they'll they might rest some players. Richie McCall might get his hundredth cap if he comes through on, on his. Uh, on his injury and uh, you know what an achievement what a sermon for the All Blacks to have a guy who do 100 caps like that and what a player I mean he's mad as well you know he plays I mean he plays the bagpipes I know he's an open side and you're supposed to feel a bit mad but how do you start playing the bagpipes it's just bonkers and uh, but what a guy and uh, an absolute top bloke and, and I'm so glad that he's going to make his 100th cap hopefully this weekend um, another big game well Samoa Samoa, as I said, tipped to be the outsiders to push teams, and they certainly are doing that. They've turned a lot of things around. They've got some fantastic skilled players. They've now got a, a performance department in uh, in Samoa, which is now getting you know to grips of everything and really become more professional. Wales so unlucky against South Africa. They really pushed them hard. I think Gatlin's really starting to get a team there. They've got some, a lot of spirit and some young guns who are not scared of of these big teams. And uh, you know that I think that game's going to be going to be the guys who go through in second place, and um, it, it's going to be a massive game. Game, a massive game this weekend. Um, talking about second place, you've got France, Canada. I think, you know, the Canadians beating Tonga, I think that was a massive scalp for them. And it just shows again, you know, these teams are really coming through. France, you don't know who's going to turn up. And, uh, you know, so who knows with them? Um, but again, this that could be a fight for the um, for the second place. And, uh, you know, that group's really tough. And I think with Fiji as well against South Africa, are we going to get another epic 2007 game? I hope so. I really do hope so. And, you uh, you know, it's going to be a fantastic weekend of rugby and I'm so glad about this World Cup's really kicked off. I can't wait to get down there. I can't wait to, you know, to give you guys another insight um, in, in the next video blog uh, on the World Cup. And hopefully I'll start getting a bit of, uh, of rumours and a bit of uh, inside knowledge of what's happening down there and share it all with you guys as well. Don't forget to keep watching on Scoop Cell. Fantastic coverage of the World Cup and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Celsius Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize.